Hello everyone, and welcome back to Floki's Models. Today we are going to take a look at the next kit I'm planning to build. It's the Rodin 14801 Bird Dog. The main reason I'm doing this kit is because Rodin is a Ukrainian company and wanted to do something for support, so I bought this one. I'm also running for a Great Wall Hobby MiG-29 that I'm going to build in Ukrainian service, but it's still somewhere in the US mill. Um, second reason is uh, from all the heroic stories of the Ford Air Controllers coming out of Vietnam. So I always liked the, the stories of the Ford Air Controllers and there's a good series that was on the military channel a long time ago called Rings Over Vietnam and one episode just goes into the Ford Air Controllers. Uh, look it up if you haven't seen it before. Even though the box art makes it look like this is an older kit, it's actually a new tool from 2018. The first side uh, you get here, you get a summary of the aircraft in different languages. Uh, sides two and three, it's just like this, just the scale and company and picture of the aircraft. And the last side uh, shows the three marking options in the kit. Got one for Alaska, got one for a Ford Air Controller of Vietnam, and one in Canadian service. Alright, opening the box, first we have the instruction sheet, followed by the decals, we'll set them over to the side. The first sprue out of the box is the wings. First thing I noticed about this plastic, it's a bit on the heavy side, it's got a grainy finish, and it has a lot of mold release on the parts still. So, for building, this thing is definitely going to get a wash in the sink with some Dawn dish soap. And the second sprue out of the box, it's not... L nope, it is letter. It's letter C. And it's tail section. Got the engine, or the nose there for the engine. Got the panels that cover the engine. This here... Yeah, this is just the instrument panel. That's just blank, so uh, we got a decal for it, so we'll see how well that looks. Got the bottom of the cockpit, the flaps. Next sprue out of the box is letter A, which is the fuselage sections. Again, they look pretty good. Say so this is a it's going to be a small aircraft for 148 scale. Got some detail on the side, too. Some ejector pin marks we got to clean up. Next sprue out of the box. Got the pilot and co-pilot seat. Got the tail wheel. And some other parts for the landing gear. And the biggest one is the prop on here. You can see these parts have a lot of flash on them, but nothing too terrible. Next sprue out is letter E, and it is this beautiful little engine. Some reviews I've read on this kit says that this engine interferes with the fuselage closing up, so we'll be doing a lot of dry fitting. I think I want to display the engine, so we'll just see how it goes. These next two sprues are letter D. Most notable is the tires and marker rockets on it. And so we get two of these. Last sprue is the clear parts. These are not in a separate bag or anything inside the box. They got scratches all over it. There's lots of flash and covered in mold release. Hopefully I can get these things looking pretty clear. Alright, let's move on to the instructions. Uh, first page gives you a brief history in a couple different languages of the bird dog, along with some performance stats. Page two is your parts breakdown. Page three, that starts the assembly of the engine. Steps one through four. Then 
Nowhere on here is there step five. It just goes straight to step six, which is the landing gear. Let's see, then seven and eight. That's the pilot seat and co pilot seat. And nine, it's uh, attaching the engine to the firewall. And then this is the instrument panel, which again, there's no detail, just a decal, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see how we do that. Uh, step 10 and 11 is the exhaust. Step 12 looks like starting on the tail. <clears throat> uh, let's see, 13, 14, and 16 is a uh, view to the cockpit. Uh, 15 is the marker rockets. Uh, 17 looks like some more detail in the cockpit. 18. Uh, oh, well, that's another thing. This uh, door is, uh, you can pose it open. So we'll probably be doing that on this. You see, 20 looks like we put the whole airframe together here. Or fuselage at least. 21 is working on the wing section. Again with 22 and 23, more assembly of the top ring. 24, we bring the rest of the pieces together, the wing, the spars, the prop, and the engine panels, which, again, I've in reviews I've read, it says that this engine keeps the fuselage from closing together so probably to kind of avoid that problem we'll just display the engine open or the engine compartment open. Uh, 25 is the different antennas that for different versions. <clears throat> then going over to the color call out or paint guide. The uh, first one we have here is uh, US Army Service Alaska 1966 in a orange and black scheme. And option two is a Ford Air Controller, Vietnam, 1966-67. Uh, the callout says that it's supposed to be overall uh, natural metal, but everything I've seen about these online show that they was in uh, gun, um, aircraft gray with uh, the black anti-glare, so, you know, that's what we'll be doing. And then again, there's no color callout anywhere for the... Canadian option, which is pictured on the side of the box, but I'm not sure what the color for that would be. So let's move on to the only thing that was bagged. First, we got some antenna wire, which that's actually a nice touch. There's three of them. We got decal sheets. Got the instrument panel by itself, which that is a very thick decal. And it's also off register if you look at the white compared to the black dials, it's yeah, it's off register. So great. And the main markings. Again we got the Canadian Air Force uh, markings, but of course there's no color call out for it. Uh, if you also look at these in the light, they are extremely thick. I'll probably almost say thicker than a Tamiya decal. So, we'll see how these go. Alright, that is the Rodin 148 scale 01 Bird Dog. I really like FAC aircraft, and we'll be building this next. Uh, hopefully this builds better than it looks in the box. Thank you all for watching and let me know in the comments what you think of this kit. If you've built it before and have any pointers or what to watch out for, I'd also appreciate that as well. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already to see this thing getting built. And thank you all again and stay tuned for many more build and reviews to come.